Now, in the Harvey Norman Lounge for our Natural Health segment, we are joined by one of our most successful fashion designers who has co-written a book designed to inspire other women to live a life that they love. Welcome to the cafe, Anna Stretton. Hi. Wonderful you. to have you here with your beautiful, colourful book. Yeah, it is. It kind of reflects the clothes, doesn't it? We kind of stay in that bright, colourful mode. It really yeah. does, which I absolutely love. Um, and you talk about the art of living life in colour. What exactly do you mean by that? It's, it's, you know, I mean a lot by that, but I, I truly think that there's a lot of women, especially, that are perhaps living a life that doesn't bring them as much joy as they should be having. Um, and they tend to get themselves into spaces and places where they're just okay with life. And I kind of call it living in the grey zone. Mm. Um, I believe that life is incredibly short as I kind of get to the other end of my life and now know that we need to do more. We need to amplify that up a bit more and live a great life. And, and we, need to start, we, we need to start thinking about that earlier on, don't we? Because quite often you do reach a certain age and you do start appreciating your life more. But it's like, why didn't I start doing this 20 oh, years ago? I don't know if you'll ever get the young and fabulous to make those changes. But um, I think at any time you can make your life a hell of a lot better. And mm. it just becomes about a mind thing. And you know, for women, we're so very much in the space of I can't. Um, you know, it's, 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 we become very risk adverse. We become very nervous um, of making changes in our lives. And so therefore, you know, we stay in the same place and I don't know if that's such a great idea. That safe place. So what, yeah. what do you think are the, um, what are some of the things holding women back? Oh, all sorts of things. But I think, you know, we constantly put ourselves as that last cab off the rank. You know, we're last in our own lives. I mean, and so for us to actually be highly functional, we've got to put ourselves back into the centre of our own universe. And unless we're in the centre, um, all of those around us that we're supporting or um, growing or nurturing, they, they actually become off kilter as well. But we don't invest enough in ourselves at the moment. We're really happy to kind of put ourselves last and get everyone else sorted before us. Well, there does seem to be a general sort of idea now that we we need to be doing that. People seem to be aware that that's what we should be doing. But doing it. But they're just not it's doing, doing it. it. It's doing it, isn't it? And I think it's like anything. I think it's like the eating the right food, um, getting enough movement in our life, you know, the way we process challenges, the way we deal with stress. I mean, we know what to do. <laughs> we know exactly what to do, but we're not doing it. Exactly. We're we just need that it. little yeah. jolt to remind yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to stay in the same place, isn't mm. it? It's, it's harder to move. It's harder to actually um, put, you know, a, create change. Mm. You know, but the rewards are there if you do create that change. Yeah, but the unknown is scary, isn't it? It's terrifying. So, you know, I can certainly be in that space and know why people don't do it. Mm. Um, but as I say, it does take, um, you know, there's such wonderful rewards, as you suggest, when you actually go out, step out and do it. Um, and that lo a lot more of us should be doing it. And you feel great. You interviewed some very inspiring women for this book as well. Yeah. I mean, what were some of your favourite advice you got from them? Oh, there was so much. I mean, there was a young 17-year-old girl, um, girl from Dio in the Waikato who'd set up a small cake decorating business and you know there's just some very cool stuff in there around her one of my favorites was a woman um, Kim was her name and she actually um, had breast cancer and she told her story now a lot of women will tell the story around breast cancer but there was so much that happened to her that should have just derailed her mm -hmm. and probably had her six feet under but um, it's a delightful story and the way that she's now living her life in full color is something that we should all take from yeah we don't want to be beige do we no we don't want to be beige mm -hmm. and clothing either <laughs> <laughs> how did you choose the, the people? How did you choose who to interview? I mean, how did you find these women? Because they're not all necessarily celebrity women, are they? No, yeah. and that was the big thing. I was really conscious of staying away from those high profile. And, we, and it's not all about business, too. People naturally assume that a book like this is going to be about business because of the work that I do. But, um, you know, I was looking for women in, in all sorts of shapes and sizes and, and doing all sorts of different things. And they come from all over the world. Um, essentially, they're New Zealand women, um, but they're very much um, just living a life that they love. So I suppose it took a year to put this together and it, it, you know you pick women up and you'll be reading something or someone will suggest something or you'll see something on Facebook. There's all sorts of places you can go to gather information. Mm -hmm. If you're just aware, you've just got to be aware all the time. And it is really encouraging and it's good to read about fascinating women who are just doing interesting things in their everyday life. It's uh, Everyone likes to read those sort of stories. Well, I think it's more about showing that there's, you know, sometimes with the big hitters, they get so far away from us that they, it becomes very difficult to think mm. that you could ever be in that space. But by taking someone that's just started out and doing great things, you know, with something that she loves to do, um, it makes it so much more achievable. Yeah, it yeah. does. You, everyone obviously has their ups and downs. I mean, what do you do to keep motivated and focused? Oh, I just believe in myself, you know. I mean, there's so many things 
things that I'm involved in every damn day and a lot of it provides challenge and for me it's that self-belief that keeps me going I mean and the other thing is is I've got to also make sure that self-love is around the wellness space I've got to keep healthy you know mm. if we're not well if we're not healthy we can't actually tackle our lives exactly and you can't keep all those other people around us healthy which is what as women well, we tend to do yeah, quite often. it all starts with us I mean we are the centers of our own universes we are kind of the core of so many people especially as mums partners I mean all those roles that we assume as women mm. parents have a great influence too don't they huge mm. and with the work that we do in the prisons you really see that where you know women are born into very dysfunctional environments and I often refer to it as born into feral environments I mean and so from there versus some of the other environments that can be create you know that exist in this country but yeah the significant person in your life whether that be a parent or someone else that's come into your space has a huge impact mm. on you know, how you will turn out your values how you think how you behave so finally, Anna, what would be your top tips for people if they're, if they're watching this at home thinking, how can I achieve my dreams or how can, what can I do to achieve my dreams? Well, the first thing is you've got to believe in yourself. You've absolutely got to believe in yourself. The second thing is, is you've got, if whatever you're looking at, whether, and I'm not suggesting it's always about business, you've got to be passionate about it. Mm. You'll never be great at something that you don't love. Um, you know, think about plan. You've got to plan. You know, I mean, plan provides a sort of a yardstick to measure your success, but it also ensures that you're, you know, you're not going to fail if you start to think about creating a plan collaborate you know go out and work with other people to build that dream um that you're, you're wanting to put mm. together. So it's, you know, there's, there's so many things, and I can go on and give you, you know, but you know, believe in yourself, be ready to embrace change. You know, in a very disrupted mm. time, you've actually got to think a little differently around dreams and visions now. So you've and got to hang take around risks. with people that give you that amazing buzz about life. Well, and it's that again. circle of influence, isn't it? It's that circle of influence. You know, make sure that that circle of influence is a good one. Yeah, and as Journey says, don't stop believing. No. Anna, <laughs> thank you so much. It is always a pleasure to have you in the studio. And Flourish is now available in all Anna Street and stores and online as well.